do you want to walk in dominion help me ask your neighbor do you want to walk in dominion help me ask the person again do you really want to walk in dominion number one key to walking in dominion number one i will give you only three then we'll pray know who you are the reason why man lost dominion was because of identity problem satan said if you eat this food that is when you will now become like god why the bible said that if was made adam and eve were made in the image a likeness of god and satan says a lie if you eat this fruit now you will now become image you will not be able to do things like god but what else do god do that adam didn't do god name everything and when he saw adam from that day god stopped naming and the next animal he created he said adam what do you have to say and adam started naming so god the bible only talk about god naming things when adam has not arrived but immediately adam arrived adam said a lion god said a lion now woman being god said a woman adam said a woman god said a woman am i talking to somebody you have dominion do you know who you are the biggest error of our generation is that many doesn't know who they are and my prayer today is that god will reveal your real person to you Amen. do you know you are the biggest surprise that is about happening do you know you are the biggest surprise that is about happening they told jiftan jiftan judges 11 you are the son of a prostitute that is who you are people sometimes name you over a situation that have happened to you that you have no control over but they use it to conclude you they see a girl that was raped and they call her immoral girl because she was raped and she became pregnant so people see her and say immoral so they name her based on incident that she doesn't even have control over am i talking to somebody but no one has a final say in your life people name you based on things that have happened to your family but that is not who you are do you know who you are you are wonderfully made fearfully made you belong to god you are a record breaker listen to me you see where you have lost before you are going for a return match opportunity you have missed before the opportunity will come again the third time are you getting what i'm saying only god can restore wasted years in the midst of hardship children of zion will rise i was preaching in abuja three, two three days ago and i said that what you are seeing now in nigeria as a family as a family it's not the first time it ever happened and the people are, i say yes it's not the first time i said there have been several families in the record in the bible but in them all the children of zion escaped i have searched my bible i saw several times that this were difficult crisis happened hardship everywhere in the time of isaac in Jera, everything turned upside down. Even Isaac wanted to run, he ran away. But divine instruction from Yahweh said, Go back home. Go back to the same land. So there. And Isaac so there. And he prospered. And the Bible says, He became 
great and he continued until he became very great and the king said now isaac you are now greater than us one man became greater than a nation so in the midst of famine the lord gave a word and the word did not fail if you can hear god in this time this is the time that you will test if god's word fail <laughs> At the time of Joseph, there was family. But God gave Joseph idea through revelation. One idea. The first seven years, store. The second seven years, rule in dominion. Listen, as a child of God, be very sensitive in the spirit because ideas will drop. This is the time, some of you, God will give you your own dominion by revelation. Some of you, the Holy Spirit will give you the dominion. Some of you, it will be by idea. Beside that, your business, there is another gold mine close to it. God will open your eyes, you will see it. Idea rule the world. Look at your neighbor's idea rules the world. God is going to give you an idea. Yeah, he will give you an idea. In the time of Elisha, that was for me. And Elisha came up one day and said, Toss here, the Lord. God used a prophet to change famine. Remember, he used divine direction, he used idea. Now he used the prophet. The prophet came from nowhere and said, Toss here, the Lord. By this time tomorrow. What is making everybody cry will be over. And another man came up like many people in Nigeria now. I said, even if God opened windows in heaven, it will not work. And the prophet said, that is why you should be careful. Don't joke with the prophet. Every prophet carries judgmental spirit. He said, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat it. The way that man died eh? He saw it and people began to match his head until he died. Am I talking to somebody? Look at your neighbor and say, know who you are. In the midst of this famine, the children of God have always had an escape route. Even now, you will escape. Look at your neighbor and say, you will escape. Look at your neighbor and say, you, you will escape. Number two. Number two. Do you know how powerful your God is? Number one, know who you are. Number two, know how powerful your God is. They that know their God shall be strong. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said in Daniel chapter 3. We know him. We will not bow. But we know him. He will deliver. But even if he does not, we will not stay back. But we know him. He will come. How powerful is your God? Help me ask your neighbor, how powerful is your God? Now see him again. How powerful is your God? Do you know who God is? How big is this God? It is not all about Kerry Baba, ba, say Kerry Baba, you fall on the ground, get up. And when small things happen, you start shaking. No, I'm talking about those who know God. I'm not talking about those who have been swept by all these things they are reading in social media. No, I'm not talking about those ones. I'm not talking about those who have come to agree that there is nothing called miracle again. No, I'm not talking about those ones. I'm talking about those who know that the name God is a miracle. I'm talking about those who know that God can pick a nobody and make him somebody. I'm talking about those who know that God can send a raven to feed you i am talking about those who know that god can turn a nothing and make something out of it ask your neighbor do you really know this god i'm talking about those who know that god can make nothing and it becomes something 2024 before it will end 
your God would have shown his power to everybody in your father's house. Amen. Ask your neighbor, do you know this God? Do you know this God? Help me stand up, shake the person, ask him, do you really know this God? Hey, if you leave me, where will I go? If you leave me, where will I stand up? Jesus, 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 I, I am your own. Now, because of time, I want us to pray. Do you know who God is? Are you sure you know? Are you sure you know? Number three. Apply dominion. Apply his word. You will never see dominion until you know who you are who your God is and apply it when you know that I'm a man under authority and I have the backing of God and I know how to apply it then dominion begins to work